welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada chat. This is episode 29. There's only a week left. So it's crazy. Last time, Tim used the POV to save himself. Even though Cassandra was all, use it on me. This is my dream. Are, is this coming out? <laughs> <laughs> and now Joel and Cassandra are on the block. Yep. Joel is still sticking to his backfire story. He is claiming that in the power veto, he thought that Phil would throw it to him. Are you, like, uh, There's no way. No way. I want to believe that Joel had the best intentions, but it just doesn't make sense at all for a second, and I just, I don't, I don't know how we can believe that. for a minute Joel ever intended to win the power of veto. I don't know. It's crazy. He did because if he did use it, I mean, if he did win it, he didn't want to use it because he would piss off the brothers and on the jury if he made it to the finals. <laughs> Either way, he would have to pick a side. But that's over now. So the brothers, are, <laughs> Joel's all sad that he's up on the block, and the brothers are like, "Don't worry, kid. We're gonna keep you. We've always had your back." You've always had the power to return to Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> Just click your heels three times. All right. Well, Cass is not giving up. She knows that, you know, everybody's against her right now, it seems like. But she's working Kelsey. She's seeing what she can do. Uh, my alliance is done. I screwed up last week. I'm sorry. Yeah. Kelsey's <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep you. It's not looking good. You got rid of Jared. So then, I don't know how Joel thinks... By him quitting, this is all going to work out somehow. He feels bad that Cass could be going home this week because of his mess up. So he's like, well, what if I leave? And they're just like, wait, what? What are you talking about? It's not sweet. It's stupid. <laughs> Would he have actually done it? No. Absolutely not. I think he was hoping for her to say, just like, you know, don't do that. Yeah, but she was like, well, do you want to, do you really want to go? Or, <laughs> she was like, you know what, if I gotta work this, I gotta work it. But Joel, he's upset, because he wanted to win for nerds everywhere. Steve already won Big Brother 17, so we're good for a little while. And Ian. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway. All right. Tim is a prankster at heart. He loves to see Cass freaking out, whether it's game wise or just like having fun. So I he think scared he likes her. To see everybody do that, but especially her, because they're like blah blah blah. He went wrong. <laughs> he was hiding in the shower, and it was hilarious. It was. I laughed both times in the preview and the real thing. So. Cass wants to know, Tim, help me. What should I do now? Even though Tim said the three show is over, Tim and Cass are still working together, of course. But he's just like, I don't want to get involved in this. Like, you need to do this for yourself. But he gets involved anyway. He's giving her this bogus advice. Like, go make a scene in the living room. Go fall down the stairs. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. No, it would dangerous. It would not have been hilarious. All right, so Nick says, Phil, you know what? You better put it away and stop flirting with Kelsey. And Phil's like, Nicholas, I'm not flirting Tone with her. Tone it down a little bit. If she was talking to you and touching you, you'd like it too. You're just jealous, Nicholas. Oh my god. It's just like role reversal from when Phil was telling Nick, like, stay away from Maddie. Yeah. And the thing is, Philip really likes Kelsey. <laughs> Hello, duh. Um, you're, like, a lot younger than her. It's never like gonna work. four years, I think. It, she doesn't want that. She doesn't want that. She wants a man. She doesn't want a baby. Did you notice that Kelsey's, like, always touching someone? Everyone. She's like... <laughs> it's weird. All right. So, where are we? Cash Joel. Oh. <laughs> Joel isn't campaigning. He's not really. I think he senses that he's got the votes at this point, and also he's like doing this whole mopey thing. So he's I not really hate campaigning. When Joel is mopey, Joel. Well, nothing makes what are you me more do? pissed off. And Cass is using his weakness, and she's just like, "I'm gonna campaign the hell out of this place." <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? She has a campaign. She's she, like, if Joel makes it to the end, he's going to win. Because everyone's just always like, oh, Joel. He played such a good game. And oh, he's such Joel, a good guy. Here's a hundred grand. Yeah. So Kelsey starts to think 
Maybe I should keep Cass. She's like, uh, Joel also said he's coming after you. He's gonna work with Tim. You should get rid of him and keep me. I'll never go after you. She, tell, <laughs> she even goes as far as telling the bros, you know what? Maybe you should think about keeping Cassandra. And the brothers are like, you're gonna brainwash my Cass. <laughs> they don't want to hear it. They don't. Well, so then Cass is like, oh, I gotta work on the brothers. So she's talking to Nick, and she's just like, I just really hope that we can still be friends after the show. You know, on the outside, and Nick is like, oh, of course At we one can. Point, Nick's face was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Cass has them so wrapped around their her finger that she's got Kelsey campaigning for her yeah. to the bros. Cass hardcore. knows that the brothers are not going to listen to her talking game to them. So no. she's like, Kelsey, you do it. And she does. Her whole thing is, I'm not working with Tim anymore. She said that she would take out Tim before she takes them out. The three show is done, and Joel and I did the same thing, and I'm getting blamed for it, and he's getting away with it. Yeah. He was actually worse than I was. So, like, all this stuff about Joel is coming out, out by the hot tub. Everybody's out there, and they're asking Joel, like, did you do this? Did you do this? And Joel's just like, uh, no. <laughs> then Kelsey pulls out the old, uh, you told me to put up the bros. And he's like, no, I didn't. And then we saw the flashback. <laughs> Yeah. As if we didn't already know, he was lying. And not as a POV replacement either. As a nominee. Initial nominee. Oh! Mm-hmm. So, Cass and Tim are still working together. They can see that the tides are kind of turning here. Kelsey and the bros are warming up to the idea of keeping her. And they're just like, ah, laughing <laughs> yeah. to your shirt. It's great. <laughs> they're excited. All right, so we get a little glimpse of the jury house. Ugh, love it. Maddie in the middle. Come on, Raul and Mitch are good friends. And Maddie's just like, Lily hate everything and everyone. Yeah. <laughs> F. All right, yeah. so Raul, <laughs> Raul, Raul wants Kelsey to show up next. <laughs> Don't you understand? That means she loses. <laughs> he wants to hang out with his best girl and best guy. I guess, but guess who showed up? Jared. Oh, snap. They were just like, oh my god, I thought you were going to win. So he reveals that Cassandra sent him home. I gotta give Jared props, though, for being like, whoa, Cash should win. At least he's not yeah. bitter. Yeah. Okay, I will say that for Jared. He pretty much has everybody saying Cassandra should win. <laughs> you know who is b bitter? Maddie. Nikki. Oh, Nikki, yeah. She's all, woo! Guess who's here? <laughs> She comes busting in. I loved it. She was hanging out with Mitch and uh, Jared. And Rayo. Him. Yeah, the two of them were hanging out. And Maddie's the fifth wheel all over again. Mm -hmm. So she's a little pissed. She's all alone. Mm -hmm. So if Cassandra makes it to the end, I think she will win. I think she's got a really good shot because I think a lot of people are like, whoa, she played a good game. And I don't think the people in the house think that. No. The brothers think they have this wrapped up. I'm pretty sure the jury thinks they're idiots. Yeah. Ugh. They, they will when the next person gets there, I'm pretty sure. All so, right, so, more on the jury. Guess what? Because Ramsey had to leave the game, Canada will be a member I of the jury. I love when they do that. Do you? And, yes. And you get to ask a question, too. So you get Ooh. to submit a question. That should be fun. All right. It's time for the ERISA check-in because we got to cut one loose. Mm-hmm. So the pleadings. Cass. Uh, my dream was to make the final four. I want to do the Big Brother Canada Awards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Joel, I think, knew he was going home. Of course he did. He knew by this point. He starts out by saying, I blame myself. Yeah. It's my fault. And I did then it myself. he's calling everybody out. He's like, uh, yeah, I lied, but so did all of you. And he's like, Kelsey, you lied. Brothers, you're immature. Grow up. You lied. And you lied. And you lied. And you lied. Yeah. <laughs> It was exactly like Just that. Just like Vanderpump Rules when James like, you're a dick, <laughs> and you, you're a dick, you, and you're a dick, and you're a dick. Yeah. So then by a vote of two to zero, Joel was evicted. But the best part was when he told the bros, you got a lot of growing up to do. That was hilarious. So it's time for Joel to chat with Arissa. Yeah, the brothers suck. They do. That's, you know, what he had to say. Now, I think Joel went out really classy. I think he had a nice I interview with them. I think he went out fairly classy. He was still like, yeah, three show, win it. Uh, yeah, the goodbye messages were just a joke now because everybody not wants that jury vote. I think they were sincere, though. Going on. Eh, 
yes and no. Tim was the most honest. All right. Well, guess what? Just a little uh, tidbit of info. If you guys have been, keeping. If you've been watching the spoilers this season, the last one is going to be on Saturday because the feeds are going down on Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Yeah. So oh make boy. sure you check out the I last two. We made it through another season. Right. But it's not over yet. It's no. time for the HOH competition, and this one is taking place in the high roller room. Is it, it just me, or did they like not use it how they said that they were going to? I, don't, I think it was totally underutilized. It was. And it looked really weird in the filming of it, too. The lighting must be horrible in there. Yeah. This competition was difficult, though. Very difficult. It's a veto slot machine, six house guests face pop-up, and just by who is participating in the competition, you have to guess the name of the competition wow. that they competed in. Wow. You have to buzz in. I'm not sure how many rounds there were. I'm assuming there's going to be like six rounds or whatnot. Or the first to a certain number, I couldn't really... I don't know. I couldn't hear. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out what she meant with the rules at first. Yeah. It took me a while to get it. Tim won the first two points, and then the and show had to end. And then it was like, oh, we're not going to tell you who won yet. The show had to end because freaking Joel's ass speech went over when he was That's like... That's not why. <laughs> you, and you, and you. All right. But Tim got the first two points. And then we're, we're, we're in a see, cliffhanger. Yeah. If you want to find out who Make won. Make sure you watch tomorrow's spoiler. Exactly. And until next time. Much, much love. love. Edit.